Over the last few weeks, we've gotten a lot of news about House of the Dragon casting. Needless to say, the general fan response to this has been very mixed, and some are fairly rightly worried. Now, these are not my normal kind of videos, not very lore based, hence why it's coming out today and not my normal time. In these videos, I want to take an opportunity to analyse and discuss some of the more interesting casting choices that people have been talking about most in the comments. In this video, I want to talk about Matt Smith being cast as Daemon Targaryen, the Rogue Prince. From the comments and exploring places such as Twitter and Reddit, the reception and general feeling towards Matt Smith's casting has been frosty at best. Now. I think it's hard to judge the casting of someone before we really have seen them in action, but I do think there are some valid concerns and, well, some less valid ones too. What is important to remember is your view of a casting may change over time. For example, when Mark Addy was first cast as Robert Baratheon, the reaction was similar to this situation here, with many feeling he did not match the character physically and finding it hard to see Addy in the role. But once the show came out, and now, looking back at general fan consensus, it is that Addy was some of the best casting on the show, and he really nailed the character. Something to consider with this is Daemon. Out of all the characters in Fire and Blood, he's up there as one of, if not, the most popular character. And with that, comes a lot of high fine expectations. And rightfully so too, being so important to fans is vital that HBO gets this right. This adds so much more pressure on the casting. Now, from my research, a key factor into the general reaction comes down to preconceived notions of whom would make a great Daemon. If you search YouTube for dream casting videos, the kinds of names that get brought up to play Daemon are mostly very unlikely. There is a common thread in a lot of these videos and lists online. Travis Fimmel, who was Ragnar Lothbrok in the History Channel's Vikings. Now, let me prephrase this by saying that I agree he would make the perfect daemon. I can really picture him as the character, and if you've ever watched him in Vikings, you will understand why. Ragnar and Daemon are very similar in a lot of ways, but that is ultimately why the casting would not work. He is too famous as Ragnar, and I would question if Fimmel would be wanting to play another Ragnar-esque character. But this issue goes much deeper. The idea of Travis Fimmel as Daemon was so popular that at one point, if you Google Daemon Targaryen, a lot of the images coming up would be a Fimmel. What I'm trying to say is people have had this image in their head for a long time now, and it's going to take a while for them to adjust. It's not a perfect example, but I had a similar experience when it came to The Witcher. Having played the video games and read the books, I very much had my own idea of who Geralt Rivia was. So when Henry Cavill was first cast, I found it very difficult to adjust to it. Didn't really match up with this image I had in my head, but as the series progressed and I watched it more, I managed to kind of isolate each version of the character. There's books and games Geralt, and then there's Henry Cavill's Geralt. It's not exactly the same as the situation here, but it just goes to show that it can be difficult adjusting to castings that don't really match up to what you're expecting, not really matching up the preconceived picture you had. Hence why, when Matt Smith was cast, and there's lots of similarities with the Fimmel situation, hence why when Matt Smith was cast as Daemon, there was ultimately a large contingent of unhappy fans. Now to move over to Matt Smith personally, after watching a few reaction videos, a trend I've seen is the claim that Matt Smith does not look like Damon and that he also isn't attractive enough. This is all very subjective, and while I can agree that Smith isn't classically handsome by definition, for every person who feels like that, there will be people who feel the exact opposite. For example, just look at Twitter and Tumblr, where there seems to be a huge following for Smith from his time in Doctor Who, and many people who appreciate and like his appearance. Now, my take on this is, dye his hair blonde, give him purple eyes, and yet, I can kind of see it working. But that's the thing, till we've actually seen something of it, it's really, really hard to judge. Another factor I think plays into the idea is that people can't see him as Damon and have his prior performances relate to Damon. They can't see him playing the tough, badass character Damon is. If you only know Smith from Doctor Who and the Crown, then I can kind of see why he may feel that way. But if you do look deeper into his filmography, although his, the projects he's worked on are much less well known than Doctor Who and the Crown, they can still show he's capable of playing the tough, badass characters. The Crown and Doctor Who prove he can play the charismatic side of the character. They can also go to a very dark and menacing place. Doctor Who really lets Smith stretch his acting skills and show his range as an actor. When you take those elements of his performance and look deeper into his filmography, then again I can start to see why he may have been cast in the role. I think if he can bring all the aspects of his prior career together, there's no reason why he can't play a great Daemon Targaryen. This may very well be a situation like Mark Addy, where in a few years we look back and realise how great the casting was. However, I am sceptical 
and I will remain skeptical until we get a lot more information on House of the Dragon, until we start seeing photos, and ultimately when we see it on screen. I've been burned too much by HBO and Game of Thrones TV shows in the past to take anything for a given, so when it comes to House of the Dragon, I'm approaching it with an open mind, but hoping for the best. What do you think of Matt Smith's casting as, as Damon? Like it? Hated it? Or are you just going to wait and see how this all plays out? And if you're not a fan of Smith, who would you want to see play Damon on screen?